So recently, my principal offered me a new job. Last year, I was a fourth grade teaching aide, and this year he offered me my own preschool classroom. It's a part-time classroom, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I'll still have Tuesday and Thursday to get all my clinical hours in, which is really nice, and to plan things for the rest of the week. So, and it's a four-year-old class, and the room I'm getting is bare. It has nothing in it. So I had to start all over and buy everything. So today I went to the parent-teacher store. It's in Lexington, and I had a horrible experience with the roundabout, but we just won't even talk about it. And <laughs> I spent $120 on school supplies. Now this, my school reimburses me for up to $200. So I'll give my principal this receipt and then he'll write me a check for this amount. So this did not come out of my personal money, thank Jesus, because I don't have that, okay? All right, so the first thing I got, just basic, was this, and my theme is bugs. That would be helpful to know. Um, is this, and it kind of reminds me of the Very Hungry Cat, oh, it says that on there, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Haha, <laughs> didn't even notice that. I just think that that is super cute. Um, do I need to say how much each thing is? You can. Like, if you can find it. Um, that was $3.99. And I don't think their prices are bad. I wish that they listed their prices on everything. Most things they do list their prices, but like that they didn't. So I had no idea how much it was. Then the other border I got, I got two borders. The other one I got was grass to be on my bug chart, my bug bulletin board. And that was also, oh no, that was $2.99, that was cheaper. See, that's why I wish they would have had prices, because then I probably would have picked a cheaper one rather than the polka dot. But it's okay. Water. All right. So then I have name plates, and I think they all are the same for their desks. And that was $3.49, and you get $36 in there. 36. Uh -huh. So I'll be able to reuse those. Then I bought the Fresh Sorbet Classroom Coordinates, three easy letters. Um, they're pre-punched, which is so nice. And they're just different letters on the inside. And that was, your finger's covering up the price, $4.99. And that will go on my bulletin board set that I'll show you in just a second. Now the next thing I got were these colorful cutouts and they're, it, blah, 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 I can't even talk. It was $5.99 and you get, you, you can't see them right now and I really don't want to take them out of the package, but you get like different bugs. It's not just butterflies, it's all kinds. And we have hooks for their nap things and their backpacks and I will use that to label which, whose hook is whose. And just for general labels in the classroom too because you get 36 which is really nice. Instead of doing a birthday board, a lot of teachers at the place where I work, they have a chart and it has whatever on it and you put the kid's name on it. I like these better. They're cupcakes. The room I'm getting is huge. I don't know how I got this room, but I'm thrilled to death because it's massive. Um, so I have a lot of wall space. So I opted to get these cupcakes and then I'll just write the student's name on it. And teacher tip, if you laminate these, and then you write on them with a Sharpie, you can take alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and wipe it off and use it again next year. Or you can do um, Sharpie and then you color on it with a dry erase board marker and then it wipes right off too. That's actually how I removed things from last year. And that was... Six nine. Six nine. And a, a lot of the stuff I didn't get in a theme, I'm not going to get every single thing in a theme because if I get everything in a bug theme and I ended up hating the bug theme, I wanted to switch it next year, I would have to repurchase everything and I'm not willing to do that. So I try to get not themed items from things I'm going to have to reuse. So then I got the alphabet and it's just an alphabet. It's really simple. And it has coordinating um, pictures, which I like, because then they can associate that letter with words. Um, and it writes the, the word, too, which I really, really like, because then we can talk about where is the B in this picture. And this was $11.99, so $12. This poster was $2.49. It's just numbers 1 through 100. Simple 
really simple. <laughs> They have fancier ones, but they match different themes. And again, I didn't want to theme out things that I'm going to reuse. Then I got this Colors and Shapes set. Um, it was $12.99. And here's what it comes with on the top. It just has the picture with the matching, with the coordinating color. And I like how it lists the color on it so you can say this is they at least know that that's what that word looks like and then it also has the shapes and different colors as well this is a weather chart it was $12.99 and it's dress for the weather and a fun activity for the beginning of the year is finding out a name for this kid they love to name things they love it so it'll be fun to give him a name and figure out how to dress him and that was um, $12.99 okay this is a polka dot school calendar it was $12.99 and it has different things for um, holidays it has the months of the year and it came with, a lot of calendars do not come with the number pieces. You have to buy those separately, but this did, and I like that. And it also has blank ones, so you can do first day school, last day school. Or no. I guess, I think that's what this was for. Maybe they might have that one. And then, I'm saving that for last. So then I have a months of the year poster. Because it's nice to be able to point to each one when you see when you sing the song. And I like that it has um, pictures that coordinate with each month. And that was $249. I think all these posters are $249. And I'll laminate that, which will make it last for forever. And then I got the matching days of the week, which was also $249. Then I bought two, um, they're supposed to hang from the ceilings. I don't know if I'll do that. I might put them on the cabinets or something like that. It was, I think it was five, you know, I don't know. Oh, it's $3.29. And then I also bought the B, and it was also $3.29. They had one that was double-sided, and on one side it had a dragonfly, and then on the other side it had some strange design. I didn't like that one though. He looked the little, what did I say, dragonfly? He looked a little odd to me. And then I bought um, a job chart. And they have blank ones too so I can make my own jobs. And it gives you instructions on how to use it at the bottom in case, you know, you can't figure it out. That was $6.99. Okay, and then the last thing I got, my favorite thing, I went, the parent teacher store is a little overwhelming. You go in and it's like heaven right in front of you if you're a teacher. And it's everything you could ever want or need and even stuff that you don't even think you would ever need but you still want. They have it all. So I like wondered, for, I was in there for at least an hour and I just wandered around for a little while and then I started picking up stuff. And then I had to go back and get a buggy, and I dumped all my stuff in it. And the lady was like, you know, what's up with you? <laughs> but anyways, so I found this on an end cap. Um, so that was the point of that. It was This was difficult to find. Um, and it was $12.99. It comes with, um, I don't know, it says it on the back. I can't think. I can't talk. Um, it has the header for the bullet. This is a bulletin board collection. Six vine pieces, right, right there. 30 leaves, 38 bugs, which I love, flowers, five of those, and then a resource guide. I don't know exactly what a resource guide is. I'm assuming it's showing you different ways that you could set it up. Yeah, Dad's nodding. That's different ways you could set it up, which is nice. Um, and I could also reuse these bugs for different things. Like, I could write on this ladybug cleaning supplies and use it as a label on one of my cabinets. 
Um, I could put this in a folder and have it be a folder game and they could try to match the bugs. So if you're not a bulletin board person and you don't want to put that much effort into it, you can still use these things to, um, for different things other than what they're intended for. So I hope you enjoyed.